Tonight, loved ones remember a Miami teen who was electrocuted when he hopped the fence at a local power substation. He was trying to retrieve a basketball while playing at an adjacent park. CBS 4 Summer Knowles joins us live from where they held a candlelight vigil tonight. Summer. That's right, Erica. Several dozen of Jesus Menezes' friends, they came out here today to celebrate him and to remember his life and his legacy and to really support each other through this very difficult time. And they did it all right next door to this very large FPL power substation that is now serving as a vivid reminder of the danger it can present. He was my best friend. He was my partner, my, my good friend. And now he's gone. Kids like Jonathan Gomez here are dealing with the death of their friend, Jesus Manessas, just 24 hours after he was electrocuted while fetching a loose basketball at this FPL substation. Tuesday night, a group of Manessas' friends gathered to remember him for the loving, kind, free spirit they say he was, pledging never to forget him. He will always be in our hearts no matter what. <laughs> and I will always care for him. The exact reason Abigail Lynn says she wrote this song Monday night in honor of her childhood friend. He was just a really sweet person, kind hearted, really like honest and open to everything. I think that like when you're born, like you come to earth and you serve a purpose and then when you like when your time is done, God takes you back again and then you go back home where you truly came from. And that's basically what this song is about. Like he's an angel and he came to serve for God and he went back home. And now, in his absence, friends vow not to let his death be in vain and to remind each other never to hop the fence that ultimately took their friend's life. He was a good friend. And I don't know what possessed him to jump over that fence. I don't know. I don't know. Jesus may not be here physically, but I know he's here and he will always be with us. I'm home again. And we're told that Jesus Menezes' friends and the employees of this park who actually witnessed his electrocution yesterday, that the city of Miami Fire Department is offering to provide crisis counseling for all of them if they need it and would like to take advantage of it. We're reporting live from the city of Miami, Summer Knowles, CBS 4 News tonight.